my name is Emily and over the next eight weeks I'm going to be building this boat. Hey everyone, I know it's been a while since I released one of these videos. Last you saw me, I was cutting my boat in half. If you're new to our channel, click here to watch this series from the beginning. If you've been waiting for this video for a while, well, welcome back. Emily, we can see your shoulder. Here. My boat. Not a lot of sanding to do. I think this is going to be how I sand it. Then I get to sit down. Take a little fork. See, there's some cracks here. Uh, some of the fill goes with some thicket epoxy, and then we can sand it all smooth, fit it together, and do a lot of sanding and a lot more epoxying. Um, and I've got to do seats yet, too. There's a lot I have to do yet. After we cut the boat in half, there were gaps here along the edges. All those have been filled and rubbed with alcohol now that they've dried a bit. So we got a nice solid bulkhead. This is the aft and this is the forward. We cut in a little bit wrong here, so I've had to build this up a little bit uh, with the thickened epoxy. Make that fit. All our holes are still open. It's looking good. And since I had extra epoxy, I did all the fillets here. It really looks like a boat. I've got all the parts, but there's just so much sanding and assembly and uh, epoxying that needs to get done. Today I'm tackling the middle seat. Uh, we, as you know, started from the wrong plans and started from the wrong wood, so we've made some adjustments and uh, kind of custom designed some seats based on kind of the first uh, wrong dinghies seats but adjusted for what we actually built. Uh, so we are really close on wood. Um, the bulkhead and the seat are within like less than half an inch of each other on this last piece of wood I have to work with but it's gonna fit. I am just erasing all my marks because I've learned that you should draw what you intend to cut and erase what you don't. Otherwise, uh, there's a very high chance of heartache for cutting out the wrong piece on the wrong line. So that's what we're working on the middle seat. And once that's done, I'll probably do some routing, get all three seats uh, measured and ready to go. And then I think everything gets a coat of epoxy and we can start putting this together. <laughs>
is Wednesday, October 9th. It's a rainy day today. And it kind of sucks because all the work I did last night to create supports for the back seat was all for naught because I tried to shape them and get them to fit before I glued them. And now I'm realizing that they sit way too low to be supportive at all and the gap is way too wide to make a fillet. So that three or four hours of work I did last night was a waste and I've got to do it all over again. But gotta do what you gotta do, right? So here we go. This isn't the first time during this build that I've had to do something all over again, but that's part of the learning process. It's a bit depressing to have to do it a second time, especially on a rainy day like today. It just feels like a chore. But I did get the parts prepped. I won't show you all of it because you just saw me do it yesterday, but rest assured I did get it done. And I made the support big enough so that I can trim it and sand it to fit just right this time. After that's done, I decided to do what I often do when I'm feeling a little defeated, clean up the shop so I can start a clean slate tomorrow. Extra thanks to Clark, who has been an amazing coach and teammate during this build. We're doing a bunch of epoxy today, um, and I've learned the hard way that I need to walk through and rehearse all the things I'm going to do before I start mixing epoxy, get the order right, and uh, make sure I mix the right amount. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna mix up some thin epoxy and put a clear coat on the bottom of the middle seat, which is gonna get installed today. I'm also gonna put a thin coat underneath in the compartment that the seat's gonna cover, because it'll be hard to get in there after I install the seat. Then I'm coming over here where we have the mast laid out and I'm going to laminate the mast and flip that and put weights on top of it and a couple uh, bar clamps, which I have, which I'm actually going to lay out right now. And the reason I'm going to use the bar clamps is this particular board here has a little bit of a warp to it and I'm going to clamp it in the middle of the top and in the center and hope that takes care of the warp. And we're going to flip it, weight it, let that dry. Uh, this is much longer than it needs to be. It needs to be just over nine feet, so we, we're going to be able to pick the best part out of the center and use that as the mast. After I'm done laminating that, I'm coming over here and I'm going to laminate these pieces together. This is the brace that's going to support the back seat. And then when I'm done doing that, I'm going to clamp all that. I need to get my clamps. Hold on. Clamps and my clamp handle, which I made from an extra dag board handle I screwed up. But it's really handy. Um, so laminate that, clamp that, then move over here and glue in the seat. And I think that's it. If I have any leftover epoxy, I'm going to come here and fill these three holes, which are the holes that we made for the tow hook. And I think that's it. So hopefully I don't forget any of that. Hopefully I do the dance right and everything comes out and we're one step closer to assembly. I don't know why 
why people go to the gym. I don't know how people can work out and not like have anything to show for it. I mean, I guess you got your six pack abs or whatever, but I don't know. I'd much rather squat and lift and run and move things around and then like have a boat or a house at the end of it. Productivity, that's the word. I like to be productive. and get it all looking nice and smooth, but I know it just needs to be in the right position. So I'm just gonna put it in and walk away from the epoxy. Okay, we got it clamped. The warp looks like it's pretty well taken care of. We got weights on it. And just for a little extra measure, It wasn't quite sandwiched right, so we added a little more weight. But we ran out of weights because they're all on the mast, so this will do. It feels like we're so close, but then every time we try to do something, we're so far away. Perfect.